thank you all for uh, uh, joining us tonight. We are coming to you live on Jackson, Washington, and Holmes County's newest television station, Two Egg TV. I'm Dale Cox. And I'm Rachel Conrad. And we want to thank you all for joining us. We've uh, got a great event planned tonight, Rachel. We're, we are here. We've got some folks behind us. Wave back there, folks. <laughs> All right. Uh, we will be uh, carrying the Chipley Christmas Fest Parade of Light. And this is one of the uh, neatest events that you will find anywhere in really the whole tri state area of Florida, Alabama, Georgia. There's a crowd out here today. It's, we're gearing up for a great event. Yeah, we're going to have a lot of fun here tonight. The uh, parade will come directly behind us here, uh, right along, uh, you know, U.S. Highway 90, which is Jackson Street here. You'll see me. Well, they, they sure have, and you can see the cars have stopped to coming. Um, we have multiple cameras, so you'll be able to get really pretty views of the parade. You'll also be able to watch replays of the parade from now all the way through New Year's at TwoEgg.tv. Yeah. Now, let me tell you a little bit about where we are set up here. We are set up at one of the prettiest places that you will find anywhere. Um, it is the First United Methodist Church of, uh, of Chipley. And it's very historical, right? It is, it is very historical. They have a lot going on. Let me bring up a picture here to show you. Check this out. This is inside the church. And as you can see, they are decorated for the season. They've got the, uh, the advent tree up. It is completely decorated with Christian symbols and symbols of the uh, United Methodist Church. It is beautiful. And, and if you can tell by looking at the picture here, it is actually almost two stories tall. So anyone who's coming out tonight to uh, see the parade, be sure to stop by First United Methodist Church here in Shipley. Um, go inside, see the beautiful tree, look inside the sanctuary of the church, but they've got a lot more going on too. In fact, they have, um, let's, let's take down the church, and let me, uh, let me show you the bazaar they have going on. This is going on in the back. These are some still shots that I took earlier. As you can see, they have all kinds of arts and crafts and things like that. Ladies have been working this since August, I heard. They exactly have. Very cool. And it's very cool. Now, I got, uh, and... Um, I just said you already bought something. I have. I already if I handed it to you here. Let me explain before I show this that this is not my uh, this is not the team that I generally follow. But um, there's the roll tide um, just for my sister uh, who is an Alabama fan. Okay, um, but I got in a little trouble because I showed an Alabama thing earlier, and of course Alabama tomorrow plays the Florida Gators uh, for the SEC yeah, championship. You can't yeah, so I got in a little trouble over the Alabama thing. So give me a second here, and uh, I'm going to make it up to all of my Florida Gator friends here, okay? Um, there we go. How about that? Look at there. <laughs> and uh, we'll close down this picture. We've been fair. We have Represented been. Represented all sides. We have, we have really tried to uh, represent all sides. Let me close down the bazaar. We'll move this one down here. Uh, we're not looking down at the gators, everybody. We're just, we wanted to show you that we uh, we appreciate all sides. All right, there's a bunch of Seminoles around this area, too. See, there's a gator back here. We got the Florida gator symbol going here. So let me, uh, actually, let me uh, let me bring up that camera so we can take a look at this. Uh, so that people can tour the church, watch the parade, go to the bazaar, eat right. food. It's a great event. All right, show us that uh, you were doing again there. There we go, because the Florida Gators are, pl are playing, uh, are playing uh, Alabama tomorrow for the SEC championship. And like I said, we we care about all sides. What's cool about this, and and the reason that I got in a little trouble, let me show you the Bama one too, since since, since we are here, and we'll show you both. Um, they actually have ornaments. They have uh, hanging displays. They have all kinds of things for both Alabama and the Florida Gators here. All right, let's say that uh, you're from another school, okay? Um, don't feel bad because they care about you too. Let me take these down, okay? Oops. I turned the camera off. Let me turn the camera back on. And, uh, folks, this is our very first ever live broadcast, so you just kind of have to bear with us a little bit, okay? All right, let me, uh, 
we're really excited we've had some people stop by and um, come into Two Egg TV and say they've heard about the town, but they hadn't heard about the TV station. All right. The uh, we can hear the lights from the we can actually hear the sirens from the parade. So the parade will be starting shortly. But just in case. Uh, you're from one of these other schools, the Florida State Seminoles or the Auburn Tigers. They got stuff for you too, so don't feel bad. Everyone's included here. They have a full Christmas tree decorated with ornaments, uh, and it's gonna be it's gonna be a, uh, a great time tonight. They have the bazaar going all this evening. There are a number of other events rates are going on all over uh, Chipley tonight. There's something really special. Yeah, the really cool thing, folks, is if you, uh, after the parade, stop by the uh, the museum, which is in the over by the railroad tracks on the green area that adjoins the museum where the caboose is, and if you stop by there, they have snow tonight. Snow. Snow. So this is Florida. This is Florida. So Two Egg TV is the first local television station to accurately predict snow for this year. And if you come here to Chipley, they got some snow for you over by the, uh, it's the railroad depot looking building over by the caboose and over by the railroad tracks just across from right CC's Pizza in uh, Casey's Pizza in Chipley. And they do have snow tonight. So if your kids have never had a chance to play in snow, bring them out. They'll get a chance to tonight. Uh, so uh, uh, that's a really cool thing. They got live entertainment going over in the Farmer's Market Pavilion. That's awesome. Uh, they have a number of other things. There are carolers all through downtown tonight. They've got the downtown all along Railroad Avenue. The lights are on tonight. So the, uh, as the parade ends, the lights are will be up and they'll be doing their stroll through the lights tonight. They have a lot of stuff going on. It is a fantastic event. I'm excited about the snow. Yeah, the snow, the snow uh, is incredible. And, uh, and again, I, I hate to break the news to you folks that, like, uh, I won't mention any names, but channels uh, 4, 7, 13, whatever. Uh, Two Egg out. TV beat you with the very first snow forecast of 2015, 2016. And uh, since we know how local television stations would actually describe a real snow, um, winter storm warning here in Chipley tonight. <laughs> So it's exactly. it's a it's a it's a chilly night here. It's a it's a you can feel the Christmas spirit going. And while we're waiting for the parade to make its way up the street to our location, I want to show you something else. And this is what they makes have more here in they have yeah they do. Let me show, let me show you. This is a small town. No, well you know Chipley's a small town, but it's it's a lively place, and they have a lot going on. They are really revitalizing. Uh, the Methodist Church here, for example, has really come to life this year. Uh, this, this church has been around for more than 100 years. Uh, in fact, you'll see people wearing their 100-year uh, uh, T-shirts and things if you come inside. They also are selling barbecue, uh, Brunswick stew, and other things tonight. So be sure to stop by there. But I want to show you something that is very special uh, uh, here in Chippewa. Now, you may remember from the news not that long ago, that there was a nativity scene issue uh, here in Chippewa. And I'm going to pull this down so everyone can see it. This is the one actually here at the Methodist Church. Now, now Rachel, a news reporter of all people uh, objected. Uh, he claims he did not object. The town said he did. Uh, the city had always had a nativity scene uh, on display at City Hall. A news, yes, a news reporter called the Freedom from Religion Foundation, and which is an atheist organization, and and asked, "Is this proper? Should Shipley really be doing this?" The Freedom from Religion Foundation, of course, uh, you know, came all full force at Shipley for having uh, a nativity scene on public property. The community rose up. The community said no. And the Methodist Church here uh, realized maybe we shouldn't complain because we don't have a nativity scene at the church. So when you come here tonight, you'll see their beautiful nativity scene that they've placed out front. They have erected nativity scenes all through the church and the adjoining structures here, the adjoining buildings. You'll see them as you, as you pass through the bazaar. 
as you stop in to get some barbecue or Brunswick stew or a hot dog. You'll see them outside the church. You'll see them in the uh, entry foyer, entryway to the church. So they decided before they could tuck on the dance something, they had to stand. They had to stand for the nativity scene and the display of the nativity scene, which is, as we know, what the season is all about. And so uh, that's what they did. And so when you come here tonight, you will see the beautiful nativity scenes. And, and this atheist organization, by objecting to one nativity scene in Chipley, has led this town to put up more nativity scenes than I have probably ever seen in any single town in the South. It had the reverse effect of what they intended. It really did. It had a reverse effect. The town has caught the Christmas spirit. They have everything from, as we mentioned, snow, you know, snow tonight to music to uh, food, tour of, tour of the historic church, the, tour, the walking tours through downtown. A They've got parade. A, a parade of lights. Oh, that's interesting. That the, the actual floats are lit up, not yeah. just the buildings. Yeah, the, the, float, the floats. Yeah, the floats are lit up. Everything is lit. It is a. Uh, they have. Uh, an atheist organization has ignited the Christmas spirit in Chipley, Florida. And so don't ever say that an atheist never did anything good. Uh, and, and I have atheist friends. You know I love you. But, you know, everybody has a right. Um, and if we're going to be, everyone says we need to multi, be multicultural and accepting of all cultures, Christians are the number one denomination in the United States of America. And Christmas celebrates the birth of Christ. And we're telling you things right now that you might not be able to hear on a public broadcast station anymore or on a federally licensed station, but we're coming to you on 2 Egg TV and we will tell the truth as we see it. Uh, so we are here tonight celebrating Christmas. This kicks off the Christmas season in Washington County. Uh, the parade is getting closer. Maybe you can hear the sirens in the background. It looks like the whole time. Yeah, there's a let's uh, let's uh, let's take a look at uh, the live scene of the street where everyone is uh, waiting for the uh, parade to arrive. Uh, we'll pull this down. There's a oh, your Santa hat's looking good there. <laughs> But uh, you can see folks behind us here. Down the street, we can see the lights. In fact, I'll, uh, uh, there you go. There's a nice crowd out tonight uh, here to uh, enjoy this. You can kind of move that around, Rachel. That's me there. You can uh, show. Maybe swing it the other way. Let's see. The uh, parade is starting to make its way our way. We see the uh, emergency vehicles and things like that are leading the way. And uh, we are really pleased uh, to be a part of this tonight. As we mentioned, this is Two Egg TV's first full-scale live uh, program broadcast. And we are really happy to be a part of I'm going to pull that down actually where you can, you can see both of us. And uh, we are really proud to be a part of, of all the things that are, that are going on here. Uh, this is what we are going to all be about. People have asked me, what is 2 TV going to do? What is it going to be? Uh, we are going to cover things live and uh, with programming that you no longer see on local television. We're going to cover events. We'll be in Chattahoochee soon as well for their Christmas event in about a week. Uh, it's on a Saturday. We'll be, for, I believe that's right. We'll be carrying that live. We are here in Chipley tonight to carry this event, and uh, we have a lot more going on. Uh, you can see the parade is beginning to beginning to approach our location. We'll be talking to you about everything that is involved in the parade as we go, um, but we're just going to have a good time. And uh, we are going to be a television station that I really think the South is going to love. We are absolutely Southern, is there any doubt about that? We say, Ain't y'all, please, thank you, may I, mother. You know, we say all those things. And we cover all the bases. That is correct. We will be, uh, um, uh, you can visit exploresouthernhistory.com. You can see a lot. All right, Rachel, i tell you what I'm going to do okay. is I'm going to uh, bring up the uh, parade picture so everyone can watch the parade instead of us. How about that? And uh, as you can see, the, uh, the parade has arrived here. Uh, you see the emergency vehicles. They are being led, I believe, by the uh, Chipley Police Department is passing by. If you go ahead and swing that camera around now so we get the light pole out of the 
away, and we will. We are going to have a good time tonight and watch the Chipley Parade of Lights. The uh, or the Chipley Police Department. Uh, they're putting off some noise, and uh, quite a celebration going on. Uh, looks like we've got the mayor and the city council going. Say hi for Two Egg TV. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are uh, uh, next up in just a second. You are going to see, uh, looks like we got an emergency vehicle coming. So uh, we've got a lot of lives. Uh, 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 we're going to try to be quiet and talk between the blast of the sirens. There you see. Uh, uh, the emergency uh, response vehicles from here in Chipley and Washington County. Next up, we've got uh, looks like the fire department is going to be coming to this shortly. Uh, looks like they are. Uh, uh, let's see, yep, they're about to come into view. Now. This is the Chipley Fire Department. They're throwing candy to the crowd. Lots of, yeah. The kids on the fire trucks, as you can see, and they are putting off some light and noise. Uh, Chipley Force has a fantastic professional fire department, and they are leading off the parade this year. And so uh, that is uh, that is a great part of things as well. Wait, so let's turn your camera a little more around. There we go. See that? Uh, I think that, all right, turn it back now. We watch the, uh, now we've got another unit from the Chipley Fire Department who's about to come into the scene. Uh, there we go. A little more around our way. A little more. There you go. Okay. Uh, we are on a hill. If you're wondering why the fire truck looks crooked and we look straight, or the folks here look straight, um, that is why. We're watching the Chipley Fire Department come by. Uh, next up, we got Fire and Rescue coming. If you want to come see us, we're right here in front of the Methodist Church. We are in front of the first United Methodist Church in Chipley. Uh, they do have a bazaar going on and other events tonight. Uh, and uh, uh, we're just having a, having a good time tonight. Uh, we've got more of Chipley Fire and Rescue coming by here. Uh, we're going to be quiet a little bit and let them come by so you can hear what's going on. Folks, we are coming to you live from the Chipley Christmas Fest Parade of Lights tonight. We're watching the emergency vehicles out go by. Vernon has now uh, arrived uh, at our viewing station here with Two Egg TV. Uh, and we're proud to have uh, Vernon up as part of the events here in Chipley. Vernon, by the way, also has a lot of Christmas activities going on. And we'll tell you more about those soon on Two Egg TV. But uh, the Vernon Fire Department uh, just passed by. In the distance, I can hear the drum beat, so we know that a band is coming. Okay, next up, we got the uh, junior ROTC from Chipley High School will be coming after the next fire truck, uh, which is engine number one from the Orange Hill Fire Department. So, the Orange Hill Fire Department, hello, Orange Hill, <laughs> they are coming by right now. Orange Hill, by the way, is one of the five highest points in the state of Florida. Is that true? It is true. And believe it or not, four of the five highest points in Florida are here in Washington County. Does Falling Waters fall into the um, Falling Waters Hill, you've got High Hill. Uh, Falling Waters Hill, we've got High Hill, uh, and a couple of others uh, are here in the area, Oak Hill, and they are some of the highest points in Florida. All right, you can see the uh, Chipley High. Uh, junior ROTC passing by right now. And uh, we've got a really nice ROTC unit coming up the street. We're going to see in just a minute. Uh, uh, 
believe they are still part of the Chipley uh, Junior ROTC TC from the high school here. And uh, we're about to see the uh, United States flag come into uh, uh, display here. Absolutely. Um, again, we are having a great time here tonight. Let me turn this camera back where you can see both of us a little bit. And we're having a great time here tonight. We're watching the parade. Uh, uh, we do have the band coming. Take a look. Uh, this is more of the uh, JROTC is uh, passing through right now. And uh, the folks are lighted up as they come by. Take a look at that. That is awesome. We got some of those. We, uh, we got people, people in the lights. And we are about to see the coolest ROTC members you've ever seen. Look at these folks as they're coming by. Uh, they have, it's a great organization that teaches young people the value of discipline, the value of our United States military. Uh, and it's a, it's a great organization. They do a great job with it here. I'm not sure maybe there's some around, uh, but uh, they are uh, definitely covering it. All right, folks, we've got the band coming into, uh, into view right now, so let's take them live and let's watch the band as it goes by. Uh, it's not just before they got to us, but they will be here so in just a second. And uh, you can probably. Uh, from the crowd as they march past. They don't really sign up for this parade. People just show up and they're in the parade. And so we're having a good time. Here comes the First United Methodist Church. It was a Kate Lindley that's supposed to be there. Yes, it was. So we are the First United Methodist Church. And we're going to thank them for electing us to be a part of their event. Here comes, uh, looks like I see a CBS policy crowd throwing. <laughs> Whoa! It says CBS Very good. They're throwing candy. <laughs> they got so, a whole bunch of them. They've got a CBS pharmacy. Pass that around to somebody. They've even got minions on their food. Yeah, they got the minions on their food. Oh, that's a stress thing there. They got the M&Ms. Uh, and so Everybody's that's the, uh, the CBS pharmacy float that just came by. A lot of children on these floats. Uh, it's a really, really neat. It's really neat to see a parade like this where everything. The Chipotle Women's Club is up next. Okay. We're really like their we yeah. got a fireplace and a Christmas tree. And Absolutely. There's the Chipley Women's Club, so we'll give them a wave as they go by. Uh, they got the recycling centers there, and they're what a beautiful float. They are really have a lovely float going on tonight. Wave to us, ladies. <laughs> wave to us. Wave for the TV camera. There you go. <laughs> So we got the, uh, that was the Chipley Women's Club going by. And uh, up next, it looks like uh, Popular Springs. Let's see what we've got here. Merry Christmas. This is 
a lot of fun. It's a cool, beautiful night here tonight. I think it's their beauty queens at Poplar Springs. All right, looks like the Poplar Springs uh, beauty queens and such going by tonight. There we go. That's Poplar Springs. So uh, we're proud to have them as part of the parade this year. Another beautiful lighted float tonight. All right. And they're yelling Merry Christmas out to the crowd as they go by. So that is wonderful. Looks like we've got, uh, let's see here, Eddie Rayland, Kate Wilson, Roger Gilchrist, and Isabella Flowers are passing us by now. They're throwing uh, candy out to the crowd. Uh, what, a just, uh, what a just a fantastic, fantastic event going on here. What is this next one? This is excellent. Horrible. A lot of kids on this one. It's Little like, reindeer. Uh, Look at all of the just gorgeous young kids who are uh, taking part in the parade. Once again, I mentioned to you, if it looks like they're crooked, that's because the street is actually uh, uh, going up a hill here as you pass by us here in Chipley from our location. All right, up next we got uh, Bev Kilmer, who is running for state representative mm -hmm. in the Republican primary. So let's see if we can get uh, away from them there. Uh, they're lit up. They got the Christmas stockings out and the snowman and Santa Claus and everyone else there. So she's running for state representative district five, uh, and, uh, which is currently uh, uh, held by Brad Drake. And also, I believe uh, Jamie Westbrook is also running in that race. I want to make sure we mention everybody so we don't leave uh, any candidate out. And we do encourage everyone to vote. That's yeah. a huge thing. Uh, so, uh, there's Dave Patrick Miss Gilmer, who is one of the three candidates for that seat. Let's see who we got here. We've got... Uh, oh, yeah, we've got some live animals coming into view here now. Florida Game and Fish are uh, passing by, and they've got some live animals, some of their live animals. We've got... Oh, wow. Is that an albino deer? Like it is. We've got an albino deer passing by. Oh, wow. Penny, the albino deer, and also a spinner and a white tailed deer passing by. I hear about the parades in the local area. I mostly people remember the deer. Yeah, that's really neat. So. I've never seen an RV in a parade either. I've seen a few in my time, so yeah. Yeah. Let's see what uh -huh. uh, we got here. We got a, it's a black truck and the uh, ladies throwing candy to the crowd. Not really see who they are. So, but we're happy they're here anyway. So, there we go. And they're passing by. You can see. Oh, 96.9 The Legend Radio is there. coming up next. They'll, I believe they're in the band that's coming up. So we know who's coming next. Uh, yeah. I, yeah, of course, of course. You know, I'm more about streaming these days, like most people. But you know, in the car, I listen to it. Sure. A lot of people are switching over to internet television. Yeah, they are. They are, and you're going to see. Here comes the 96.9 Legend uh, band is now coming into uh, view with some of their on-air personalities. And it's fitting that they Right yeah, they are. You can hear them play uh, as they pass by. We're happy that they are part of the this wonderful event here in Chippewa. So, uh, we'll talk a little more on the way for the next one to come. Once again, we are here at live at the uh, carrying the Chipley Parade of Lights. Uh, we are in Chipley, Florida, and we are having a wonderful time tonight. And yeah, we want to thank you for joining us here on 2A TV. Let's go back to the parade. And it looks like we've got two forty arms coming by and Grace Assembly. Uh, which, uh, yeah, well, they're in the parade. That's what counts. And we're happy that <laughs> happy that they are here. Uh, and uh, uh, we'll come back to us for a minute here as we wait for the next round to approach us. Uh, seriously, this is a just fantastic event. We can see Highway 90 line for probably a good half mile in each direction from where we are. Uh, with people coming to be in the parade. Uh, the uh, parade is coming around down Highway 9 and then going up 77. It is. Let's go back to the parade. We've got another. Uh, 
see another group coming. Oh, look at the little oh, fella hanging out of the window there. We got a live activity thing going. And this is from Connections Worship Center. Uh, they are passing by. So you can see. Uh, the banners have uh, Mary and Joseph and the baby Jesus. And the banner does say, Happy birthday to you. We're really thrilled. There comes a reindeer. It's really cute. <laughs> so, uh, We've got a really, really nice group of folks here. Uh, yes, we do. Let's see here. This is the Washington County. Uh, this is hometown care. Uh, okay, that's the Rehabilitation and Nursing Center passing this by My eyes are getting a workout tonight, Ms. Rachel. They definitely are. As, we, as we're trying to see, because as I mentioned earlier, they don't have uh, this is a parade. Everybody just kind of shows up and is in the parade and lit up. So we're having to eye strain through the dark to see these. Let's see what's uh, going It's a really pretty boy. It is a gorgeous group of young people in the parade, and, and we're really thrilled that they are part of that. Um, I see a little pool, I think, about to come up with you here. Lots of candy. Yeah, lots of candy. If you have sweet tooth, this is the place to be tonight. Yeah, so I, plus they, yeah, plus they have the bazaar going inside the church, and uh, uh, it, is, it is a wonderful time. Uh, you said something about the highest points in Florida. Yeah, four of the five highest points in Florida. In fact, this hill we're on tonight is pretty high. Uh, so we got some beauty queens coming up next. Let's see if we can see who they are here. we got Katie Griggs, and um, I'll tell you the other one in just a minute. Who down there? Little Miss Washington County is coming up as well. Let's see if we can get something. Right. Right. Well, so, uh, we'll watch them pass by. Little Miss Washington County. I love the back of the truck where it's lit up. It is just gorgeous. Yeah, it's a very good thing this parade is moving slower. Uh, we wouldn't be able to tell you who's what. Uh, There's Desi Fitch. Who is uh, okay? So, uh, keep this lucky. Yeah. And then we've got a really neat uh, classic car about to come into there. It comes into view right now. Uh, so, we see some classic cars coming in. Uh, we're about to really see some serious, uh, if you're into horsepower, we're about to see some serious horsepower here in just a minute. Uh, literally. Literally, I said. Several so. different floors. <laughs> But uh, yeah, this is the horsepower part of the parade. Um, and check out what, uh, as the classic passes by, check out what's about to come into view here, Rachel. I can see Lots you. Lots of different generations represented. Yeah, I can see you behind the wheels of this thing. I can take it up. I bet you could. I bet you could. Uh, got I a, like the color too. Yeah, it's a nice beautiful, blue color. Nice, beautiful blue color. Uh, and you can see it coming into view there. What a nice. Nice. Uh, yes. Piece of machinery there. Uh, no telling how many how much horsepower is in that one. Um, all right. Coming up next, we've got the children's choirs. Uh, the Chipley Children's Choirs. There they come. First Baptist to the Children's Choirs. Look at all of them. Look at all of them. What a great group of he said, for God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son. His and uh, all ages represented a beautiful group of people uh, taking part in that. You can see the kids running in the street to get candy. Uh, kids throwing candy to kids. What a, what a great thing. Uh, I mentioned some serious horsepower coming into view. Check this out right now. We've got. Uh, uh, gorgeous uh, horses are coming into view, and uh, man, we've even got Rudolph riding a horse there. You can see the nose flashing. Uh, great uh, group of folks here. All right, and uh, you see the horses continuing to pass by us here. Uh, they look like they're having a good time. Even the horses are kind of in the spirit tonight. Uh, check out the uh, decorations on that one, you know. The horses uh, are lit up. Yeah, the horses. They were when they said this parade was lit. We said this is a parade of light. We were serious. Even the horses are lit up for the parade. 
I've uh, seen people choose it out. We, have, we have. We are. Uh, we're coming to you live from uh, Washington County, from Chipley, Florida. And as you can see, it's it's bright enough. I don't even think we need the lights here. Right? How about that? That's much better. Uh, you can see the horses are passing us by now. We are here at the Chipley, Florida Parade of Light on 2AC TV. We're having a great time tonight. This is our first time going live. First. We, we tested a little bit of live um, at the Bellamy Bridge Ghost Walks in Jackson County back in Halloween. Now, this is our very first full-length live broadcast. And, and a little bit later, we're going to tell you more about um, uh, what to expect from 2 TV in the future. We're, of course, streaming this out over the Internet, but we have some surprises coming for people very soon, too, and other ways to see it. Here comes WTVY 95.5. Uh, from uh, Dothan, they're here. The tower is over in uh, Holmes County, but they're centered in Dothan. Uh, they used to be uh, upstairs from me back when I used to work at WTBY Channel 4, so it's good to have them here. I like the big American flag on their car. Yeah. We've got a bunch of those coming kind of here. This is the Chipotle. Uh, yeah, I don't know what they are, but wait till you see this ride they've got. <laughs> Chipley Lions Club, and they are, of course, they work for children for sight, and they do things to help children uh, who, who are indeed uh, of improvement with eyesight, that people like glasses, they do things like that. Great organization. Uh, they do a lot of good work uh, for people, and especially for children. Yeah, uh, that is the Chipley group, and uh, they do a... Uh, Looks like they wrapped the whole car in wrapping paper. Yes, they did. I believe they did wrap the man in wrapping paper. That. That's right. Let's see here. We've got another organization going on here. Tia Kramer. I can't read who she's from, but she's waving the crowd as she goes by. So we're very happy to have her here. Uh, here comes another beauty queen. And, uh, uh, Miss Emma Fowler is passing us by now, another of the area beauty queens. You can see her waving to the crowd as she passes by. Um, we've got another float will be coming uh, with us to us in just a second, and we'll tell you about that as it arrives here. But uh, we're having a great time here. It's not too cold, it's not too warm, it's just right. Yeah, and again, our very first ever live parade, our very first ever live broadcast. Uh, and here comes a great group of folks. Uh, they got their own little fireplace. They're, uh, they're passing out to the crowd. They got goodie bags for the crowd. Outstanding. Yeah. Here comes KMX 106.7 is uh, here for the parade tonight, along with some of their own air talent and folks. And you can hear them playing music as well as they pass by there uh, from Dothan uh, Enterprise area, but a big part of the wiregrass here. Uh, we got some more classic cars coming into the view here. Uh, they're just uh, they're passing by. We did. It seems that everyone here uh, um, is wearing, uh, you know, the Christmas season greetings hats, and that's what we've got on our Christmas hats for tonight. Uh, and we're just uh, we're enjoying ourselves here tonight. You know, it's it's fun to be a part of this. Let me mention to everyone once again: we are here at First United Methodist Church uh, in uh, in beautiful Chipley and historic Chipley, Florida. And uh, they have barbecue, they have Brunswick stew for sale, they have all kinds of things for sale. And we're really... And you can go inside the church and tour. Yeah. Well, another group going by now. Post Hospice. Yeah, more Post Hospice. And they do, I can tell you from, from sadly, from personal experience uh, with my father, that they do a tremendous job. Uh, and they're a great organization. And they bring a lot of, uh, a lot of calmness uh, at times uh, when it's needed. NFCH. Yeah, NFCH, that's the Florida Community Hospital, passing us by now. Uh, they're located here in Chip Dad yeah. And uh, oh man, check out check out the Christmas gifts that are passing by now. Uh, we, they are coming by. We've and got, some more horsepower. Uh, we got more horsepower. We've got uh, reindeer on horseback coming through, as you can see. Uh, and uh, the big man himself is about to make his appearance here uh, in just just a bit. 
Uh, we are here live. We've been carrying the Christmas uh, parade of lights tonight. First United Methodist Church. Come on by. Come out tonight. They got snow uh, at the green over by the museum. They got activities all downtown. All downtown. Thanks. And we know that all the kids are waiting for this. So, folks, here you go. We're going to let Santa speak for himself. Uh, here is Santa Claus coming. There we go. Got the reindeer. You can see Rudolph on the front there. <laughs> ho, 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 ho. Merry Christmas, Tiffany. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. Santa Claus. And you can see Santa passing by our position here at the First United Methodist Church. Santa Claus knows where all God's children that makes everything right. So right. Santa Claus has officially made his appearance and the holiday season is underway here in Chipley, Florida. We are uh, we're glad that you joined us tonight for our live broadcast of the Chipley Parade of Lights. We've got a wonderful time. Not, I want to go <laughs> We're going to leave here in just a few. We'll show you a few more of these emergency vehicles in just a second. Uh, and then they're going to reopen Highway 90 for traffic. But we, we want to thank you all for joining us, first and foremost, for our, our inaugural live broadcast. And uh, we will be, if you enjoyed it, like to see more of it, we will be replaying this uh, throughout the holiday season at 2A.TV. So we hope you'll join us there. Yeah, well. Let's show a few of these. Uh, uh, we don't want to leave any of the emergency folks out. So you can see as they pass by. Yeah, they do a great job. And they work hard for people here. And uh, they put themselves in some Chipley is a good town. And, and of course, we celebrate you know, all emergency responders and all police officers and all uh, EMTs all around America or in the world, wherever they may be. Uh, because they put themselves on the line uh, for us uh, and for you every night. So let's uh, let's give them their full due as they pass by. If you can see the uh, uh, Chipotle, the final uh, final unit, the uh, last of the Chipotle police cars in the parade is about to come into view here in just a second. Uh, so we'll watch them as they pass by, and then they're going to reopen Highway 90 for traffic, and we'll, we'll talk a little bit. It goes to Chipotle Police Department passing by. And uh, we are very grateful that they joined in the, uh, joined in the parade this year. Uh, they did a fantastic job of always as tra uh, traffic control and everything else that they do. And uh, so we've had a great time. All right, we are here live at First United Methodist Church in Chipley. i got to remember which camp we're yeah, We're First United Methodist Church in Chipley. Now let me tell you, this is a beautiful, beautiful church. If you've not seen it with the beautiful stained glass windows, uh, in fact, why don't you turn our live camera on sure. there and let's take a look at the, uh, let's take a look at the stained glass window. I just want you to see this. Uh, you can move it up a little bit. Take a look at that. Is that not beautiful? Uh, and then if you'll angle the camera over, we can look, even look up at the tower of the church. Uh, look at this beautiful facility. Uh, this facility is over 100 years old. It is a landmark here I in Washington. That's correct. The, the pastor of the church actually made these uh, blocks that the church has made from. And uh, this is, if you go in, the are you go inside, the pews are original. The altar's original. You can also see the tree, as we mentioned, inside here. Uh, it's just a uh, just a beautiful, beautiful thing here. So uh, we're grateful to them for all the hospitality they have shown us, uh, you know, tonight. And... Uh, we, they, they, we have. We've had a good time with them. They also are selling barbecue, Brunswick stew, hot dogs, things like that out in the back. Uh, we'll probably check that out in a second. And then we're going to go down to the green and find the snow. They also have a Christmas bazaar. And I'll mention one more time, uh, in case you missed it, that they have a variety of your favorite um, uh, holiday style uh, college or university football things. They got the University of Alabama represented there. Uh, that's for my sister who is watching this tonight live from Kansas City, Missouri. But uh, uh, she's never heard me say this before. So for once in her life, I will say, roll tide for her. There you go. <laughs> let's uh, let's take a look. They also have. We don't want to. We don't want our Gator friends to feel left out. So uh, we'll pull that up. 
Uh, they have uh, University of Florida stuff. They have some really neat crafts, and they've been working on this in August. They, they really have. They All have kinds of neat uh, Christmas countdown cake. That's right. They have uh, uh, Florida Gators. I believe that's Auburn really Tigers really even there a little bit on the side. Uh, yeah. Now, for all you Seminole fans, of course, they've got Florida State University stuff. Uh, they've got Auburn Tigers stuff. they got all your major universities represented. Uh, and uh, we're really, 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 yeah, they really do. We mentioned the nativity scenes here in Shipley. They are lit up. Uh, it's a great night to come inside the church uh, and inside the adjoining buildings and see all of the nativity scenes. See what an atheist accomplished for the Christians in Washington County because there are more nativity scenes in this town than I've seen anywhere. So, uh, uh, and, and it really brought out the Christmas spirit here. People are really, uh, really, really, uh, you know, uh, enjoying, themselves. enjoying themselves. This is a great celebration. And let me tell you something, if you have never seen Chipley in the lights, uh, come to Railroad Avenue area in downtown Chipley, it is phenomenal. You will not regret it. It's one of the best light displays uh, anywhere in this area. Uh, and be sure lots more light displays. Yeah, if you go to exploresouthernhistory.com, yeah, Explore Southern History. Yeah, Explore Southern we also have light, the best light displays in the South, and Chipley is included on that list. Yeah. We've backslash also backslash Christmas. Backslash Christmas. We've also got some others uh, throughout the area. They will be on your fire department passing us again. So. Uh, now I think the parade has made, reached its beginning point and the uh, folks are beginning to break away and go and have a good time. So we're going to do the same. We're going to head down to uh, see the snow here in Chipotle tonight, uh, which they do have snow, I understand, down by the museum and other areas. So we want to thank you so much for joining us here. Uh, we hope you've enjoyed our first ever live broadcast. It is the live coverage of Chipotle Christmas Fest 2015. And we've had a great time. I'm Dale Cox. And I'm Rachel Conrad. And uh, swing the camera around. Let's get Heidi on camera there. Uh, so we'll show you who our spotter has been over on the side there. Uh, we might just pick it up. There you go. Heidi's back there as well. So wave for the cameras, Heidi. Uh, Heidi's been uh, running camera for us tonight and everything. And we're really glad to have her as well. So uh, thank you all for joining us. Uh, and uh, we hope you've enjoyed this live presentation of Two Egg TV uh, here from Chipley, Florida.